Thank you to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. Do you like winter? It's fine. If someone were like, we're gonna move all of your friends and family to a place that is just good weather all year round, would you rather do that? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It depends on where. Yes, I mean, yeah, sure. I don't know. It's complicated. <laughs> Do you like winter, Matt? I don't like winter. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But you live in it. Uh, yeah, there's a series of factors there. Yes. Factors for me, too. I live in the cold, and I don't usually enjoy it. And some of my friends don't either. But some of my friends do. So do you like winter? I do. You do? Yes. Why would anyone want to live in winter? <laughs> That certainly is a benefit, it's a perk, right? <laughs> we'll get to those silly winter lovers in a second. First, we must answer the question, why do people endure the terrible, terrible winter even if they don't like it? Terrible. My family's here. Mostly because that's where my family and my friends are. I have a very good job here. So why do you live here? Family. That's how they get you. Yep, that's it. And then they, they stick you with the cold. Yep, family, why do you do this to me? Actually, Mom and Dad, how do you feel about winter? Winter? I barely know her. Don't you dare joke about illicit winting! Jokes are how I understand the world! And I'm sick of it! Divorce time! Why? Because I tell too many... Yokes! Get out! Oh. You're serious. Wint you! Can I live in the basement? It's cold outside, as well as in my heart. Wint if I care. Sad about the marriage, but happy I'm close to the beer fridge. Wintity, wint, wint, wint. Okay, so my parents are getting a divorce? I should move them to a neutral location, my living room couch, to have a more low-key conversation. You guys don't have to social distance, you live together. She wants a divorce. And I don't know where he's been. Do you like winter? Yeah. I like winter. I like snow for about a month. <laughs> you ever fantasize about living somewhere warm? All the time. Really? Okay, obvious follow-up. Do you think you'll ever move somewhere warmer? No, probably not move. Why? My family's here. Wait, you're staying for family? And I'm staying for family. It's a vicious cycle. Family's all the way down. Okay, I'm, forget about family for now, and maybe forever. Let's finish answering this question. I've lived with winter for so long, I'm used to it. I know what to do with it. Like, if I had to move to, like, Mississippi, I don't know what, what I'd do. Did you grow up here? You grew up in Wisconsin? I did. I grew up here, moved around a lot, but always moved places where there was winter. It's what you know. I actually interviewed a friend of mine from L.A. with a reverse perspective about sticking with what you know. Sticking with know you what. <laughs> What's the temperature in LA right now? <sighs> Too cold. Too cold. Yeah. Oh my God, it's 73. Yeah. <laughs> I could go up yeah. there and, and it'd be nice. But the garage and my house for some reason are built on some sort of glacial burial ground. Oh, so, yeah, back when they buried the, gr the glaciers. Yeah. They buried the glaciers back in the day. That's why the weather's so nice all year round, but cold inside in LA, they buried their glaciers. Anyway, Joe eventually went back to what he knew as a kid as well. Cut to it. I grew up in Brazil. It was just constantly tropical, constantly nice and warm. My parents got the amazing idea of moving to New England. You just immediately hated it? I always just put up with it. Then he moved away to get into the film industry and he had a couple of choices. A couple of classic choices. And I visited New York and it was cold and sleet and rainy and I visited LA and it was somewhat like I remember back home. I was wearing a t-shirt in February my God, yes. Yep. Please. I had those choices too. I chose Chicago. It worked out though. No regrets. Except maybe cake for breakfast. And since he loves warm weather and grew up in it and knows it very well, he went on to make a critically acclaimed feature film, Arctic. 
All right, let's throw a few more on the list of reasons to stay in winter despite hating it. Moving is hard and scary and costs money. Witness protection, reincarnated as a snowman to make up for being a mildly absent father, but actually not that bad of a father, the plot of Jack Frost. Dirty reasons. I don't know what that means, but it probably means something to someone. And pun opportunities. For instance, I would definitely jump at the chance to move to none of it. Where in Canada are you from, eh? None of it. Do you like where you live? I like none of it. Now that we've exhausted all possible puns, uh, moving on. To another question. Why do people like winter? That's the title of this video. Maybe I should have just started with that. Wow. Someone's commenting, It took blah 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 minutes and blah 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 seconds to get to this part of the video. Blah. You tell your story your way, bro. I really look forward to all the lack of context and character development. Before starting the list, I must acknowledge that each of these things are a matter of opinion and I will talk about both sides of it. So just relax. First on the list. Yeah. I can always put on clothes to get warmer. I don't like sweating. Yeah. I don't like overheating, I don't, I don't like being warm. Too warm. Now Jake, who lived in Austin at one time, to add context and character development, recent events notwithstanding, do you uh, prefer the weather in Austin? 1,000%. Like, I just hate being cold. Yeah, hate that, it. That's because of all, all that work out you've been doing. You gotta have more, uh, <laughs> more insulation. <laughs> Moral of the video, cold, don't work out. So maybe cold sucks and heat sucks. What's going on here? The season affects you differently. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's, and that's, and that's okay, we're all wired, you know, the way we are. Thank you, Sam, you're a very reasonable person and one of the reasons it's hard to hate this place. But let's go back to being unreasonable and that thing that Nathan said that a lot of people say about being cold. Yeah. You can always put on clothes to get warmer. Because you can put on more layers, you can bundle up, you can this and you can if that. If you got the right clothes, like you look <laughs> dressed pretty appropriately. Yeah. You know, dress warm enough and when you think you've been outside long enough, go inside. Okay, now my dad's being reasonable, but here's the thing. I hate spending 15 minutes putting on all this stuff. Multiple socks, multiple shirts, long underwear, boots, gloves, hats, coats, scarves, anytime I go outside. Jake agrees with me. I agree. See? It's that... a bigger pain in the ass. There's no way to get that around it. By the way, that's Charlie Barons. You are the YouTube ambassador to Wisconsin. <laughs> and Siri, remind me to get a bag of bagels. Did you mean bagel? Yeah, bagels. I'm sorry, did you say bagel? Bagels. Bagel. Bagels. Bagel. Bagels. He does a lot of Wisconsin-based comedy, and it's hilarious, and you should check it out, and I'm gonna link to his stuff down there, and to all the stuff of, from all the people in this video. Not all their stuff, just the stuff they want you to know about. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I was complaining about trivial stuff, like the weather. I love the convenience of nice weather. Times I've spent in LA, any given moment just being like, I could wear a sweatshirt, I don't have to, and then just go in and out like it's nothing. I've spent the last three years buying clothes that were adequate for my wife to go outside with me. Did she grow up in Wisconsin? She did, but she hates the winter. <laughs> she lived in Mexico for a while, right? She did. She would go to Mexico and live there in a heartbeat. Well, why doesn't she? I think she likes me. <laughs> you won't go? Someday, when I'm old. And now let's move on to a reason many of us think that winter sucks. If it rains, it's like, all right, well, there's mm -hmm. rains. But with snow, you gotta like do stuff with it. You know, a scraper, you have to get a shovel, you have to deal with the driving. All the stuff you gotta do. And the danger, driving, slipping on ice. It turns out, a lot of people like trying to overcome this challenge. And I like going out and blowing snow with my snow blower. I, I like, like doing that stuff. I wouldn't miss shoveling. Although it's the only exercise I get now. I refuse to buy a snowblower. Oh, I have a snowblower, it's great. I'm sure it is. <laughs> great as in better than friggin' shoveling, but I'd prefer to not have to do anything. Do you like shoveling? I don't dislike it. Good exercise. I like a lot of good jobs. I like being able to see what I've accomplished. I'll tell you one thing that like, as a giant person, kind of shoe cleat doodads, the little metal parts bite into the ice and you don't fall. But wouldn't you want to live somewhere where you wouldn't have to worry about falling? I think nobody wants to fall, Craig. Since I choose to live here, these things really do help to make life just a little easier. It sort of is a filter for anybody who doesn't really want to be out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and so you yeah. get a little bit more time to yourself. And number three, for some people, cold is better for sleeping. sleeping. Yeah. In the room nice and chilly, being able to stay under those covers makes sleeping real nice. Yeah. Makes getting up a real bear, but. <laughs> do you sleep more? Do you sleep better? If I have a toddler and an infant, I don't sleep at all. Um, <laughs> to me, that's the best sleep situation is when it's cold and mm -hmm. you're warming yourself. Because otherwise, mm -hmm. throughout the night, I overheat. I would rather it just be a normal temperature and I just have like a sheet or a blanket. Yeah, fine, Joe, fine. Different sleeps for different creeps. But a nicer way of saying it. The season affects you differently and that's okay. We're all wired the way we are. But aside from sleep, there's also a kind of hard to define special coziness to winter. How do you deal with winter? Snuggle up in front of my fireplace, put on a blankie. Blankie? 
a blankie. There is something special about curling up in your blankets when it's cold. Oh, yeah. There's a special coziness. Flannel shirts and scarves. Grungy. Like the early 90s, exactly. <laughs> it's always the early 90s in winter. It's acceptable to take some lower key recovery time. Being able to gather friends and just sit and enjoy. I can light a fire inside in the fireplace and enjoy a, a mug of hot punch. Yeah. If I did that in the middle of summer, people would think I'm nuts. The Danish have a word for this. Huga. Thank you, Google pronunciation. Huga. A lifestyle all about snuggling up, being cozy and warm and hanging with friends and eating lots of food and drinking lots of drinks and drinking lots of food and eating lots of drinks and just treating yourself when it's cold out. Of course, you don't need winter to do this, but if you're not in winter, would you do it? And it just feels different when it's cold. But does it? I don't know. I'm making this stuff up as I go along. But Matt, ever the workhorse, sees winter as an opportunity to get stuff done. Inside stuff. Get your mind out of the gutter. The gutter's outside. If you're doing stuff like making music, because you, you can't be tempted to go frolic in the ocean or... I actually can't imagine you frolicking in the ocean. I want to see that, but I can't imagine that. <laughs> okay, enough distractions. Let's bang out some of the obvious reasons to like winter. Would you ever li want to live in a warm place? It's dry. You care more about humidity, it seems like. I, I think you're probably right. There's no bugs. Is there anything you like about winter? I don't know, the relative lack of parasites and disease-carrying vectors. Yeah, but in the summer, it's bugs are terrible here. Exactly. <laughs> Worse than other places. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like winter. Okay. Well, I like the first snowfall of, this, of the winter. In the early part of winter, the first several snows, I like a lot. But the snow gets less magical. But then as the spring comes along. Then we get into my least favorite section, the post-melt frozen section. Gray and mud. I hate that part. That part sucks, by the yeah, way. As a kid, I, I did like the snow days. Kind of a double-edged sword means that you have to come back on a Monday in the middle of summer. Oh, you had so to make I, up your snow days later? I think we just got a free day. That's even better. <laughs> well, that's probably why I'm slightly dumber than you, though, too. Like, several because... days dumber than you. And then there's the big reason that people say they love winter. Probably the number one answer I get if I ask someone why they like winter. I really like seasonal change. I feel like in order to appreciate summer, you have to go through winter. I like summer a lot. What makes me like it and appreciate so much is the winter. The joy of spring is so much more heightened. So I don't think there's anything as good as a summer in the Midwest. Yeah. You're gonna hammer someone's toe for nine months straight and then you stop hammering, it's gonna be amazing, you know, so. <laughs> I know a lot of you warm people are going, yeah, right. Maybe don't talk so much from the back of your mouth, but also, Joe agrees with you. I know a lot of people who will say things like, I would miss the changing of the seasons. Like, you they... wouldn't, you wouldn't. You'd just say that. Just go to a tropical country for like two years and you'd be like, what? What's winter again? There are moments. <laughs> Why did anybody settle here? You know what I mean? Yeah. They called them settlers because they settled, you know? <laughs> and besides LA, you can drive to winter during this whole pandemic when there was snow up in Big Bear here. We just went there. We sledded with the kids, and then we came home to nice. And always wanted to take things to the extreme. Take them away, Matt. By um, I mean people's wants and desires. I don't think people like winter in general. They've just tricked themselves into thinking they like it. It's sort of a Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. It'd be a little bit like of a Stockholm syndrome kind of thing. You yeah. grew up in Stockholm and it's cold there. And then when you move somewhere where it's always nice, you're like, oh, I miss Stockholm. That's why it's called a Stockholm syndrome, actually. Uh, no. No, it's not. And Charlie counters this argument by taking something into account as simple as all time and human mortality. And giving me a great opportunity to use the time-lapse footage I bought. So I lived in Los Angeles for a little bit. I remember just kind of being a little depressed, and I don't know what that was. Time goes faster in LA, I think. Winter is literally the season of death. For, I mean, everything goes away. A lot of birds go away, reptiles go away, all that sort of stuff. So your internal clock is sort of reminded of how quick life moves going somewhere like LA where it's nice all the time and you know you look up and 10 years have passed and if it's the same all the time you might have less to wait for it that sucked but now I get to not do it anticipate one of my other favorite winter things is anticipation I'm big into Christmas you know this yeah. and I look forward all year to that season starting up in the same way that right around now starting to anticipate spring we can hear the bird chirping it is weird that we're hearing a bird, bird chirping right now isn't it I feel like it's rather prophetic don't you park springtime yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> Possibly lark. Springtime. I don't know. I, I, I'm not. I'm not very good on bird calls. <laughs> so some might like the anticipation of the end of crappiness, and some might like the comfort of constant boring comfort. To put it all in negative terms, the point is the season affects you differently, and that's okay. We're all wired, you know, the way we are. Thank you for getting me out of the negative spiral, Sam. The world is complex. People contain multitudes. I don't know the answers to these things. I'm just making this. I'm just making a video about winter. What else am I gonna do? It's winter. Oh. Winter activities. Obviously, yeah, it's fun to go sledding. It's fun to go skiing. I like ice fishing a lot. I've recently tried to cross-country ski. That doesn't sound like fun at all. It is, actually. It's, really? It's invigorating. You like running. It's similar to running. It wasn't until right at this moment that I uh, realized that I might like cross-country skiing. I think you probably would. I have snowshoes. I don't yeah. know that I've ever worn snowshoes. You could go in the park across the street, snowshoe. Let's do it. We can also go sledding. You go ahead. <laughs> oh god. This is a lot smaller. I think this is for a child. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is just like when we were kids. You would make me do something stupid and I would get hurt. You would get hurt. Oh my god. Yeah, don't fit at all. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Success! That was pretty fun, actually. Wasn't success because you didn't hurt yourself. Oh, jeez. That was much deeper than I thought. Are you gonna try to, are you gonna try to run? It just kind of feels like walking around in the snow. It is. exactly what it is. Stay safe. And maybe get out of the road. Yes. <laughs> yes. And one final thing you can say about winter, which I'm really looking forward to getting through because I want to take this off. I'm getting really hot. At one time you told me that you just like being in the winter because you wanted to have something to complain about. Well, th so th there's that about the winter and it's a collective thing that you can complain about with everybody. So yeah, though you could complain about the heat, I suppose, but the winter, there's like a lot of aspects to it. Like you got to like shovel snow or whatever. Or there's bad traffic. It's no secret that the weather here is problematic. Anytime you have a collective experience, it just allows more avenues for people to relate to each other from all walks of life. Though a lot of people don't like it, it's sort of a uh, unique uniter. I think it's worth it to endure winter to get to live here where we live. I like enough about it and I really, really like all the other seasons here. But if someone were like, hey, we're gonna move all of your friends and family to a place that is just good weather all year round. I don't know. I like it here. I like winter. I don't, I, I don't, it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I like it here and I think that winter is part of the charm. Yeah, I think she's right. Winter is probably worth it. And I'm anticipating doing cross country skiing next year, for real. Cause I'm older now and I do things that I th used to think I would hate and might still hate. But maybe I just like suffering more now? I don't know. And being here, we have the best babysitters you can ask for, and they ain't leaving. And they're such good role models for Ada. You leave first. We took separate cars. I don't want to see you upstairs! I better check in on my parents periodically to see how they're doing in every single video this year. And you should maybe subscribe to follow along on the story of their real life. Also, let's send it off to a sponsor clone. Hold me closer, tiny sponsor, sponsor. Oh, oh, hey, sponsor clone here to thank the sponsor of this video, The Great Courses Plus. Way more enjoyable than the grading courses non-plussed. They just have a bad attitude over there. But The Great Courses Plus is great. Do you wanna learn stuff from actual professors, from actual universities, from all over actual earth who have been studying and teaching this stuff for a long, long time, actually? Stuff like over 11,000 video lectures on anything that interests you, except for you, Carl, not those kind of interests. Interests within reason, like science, math, history, literature, how to cook, play chess, become a better photographer, and learn how to say photographer gra better. Photographer? I recently watched some lectures on the course on mindfulness. Ever since I did meditation, Many moons ago for a video you may remember, I have 
always been wanting to improve and this is actually helping me reframe the idea of mindfulness. I like how Professor Guy, I forget his name, it's okay, the lecture isn't about the professor's name, compares not being mindful to watching a movie with the commentary on. Like, for this how section of the ad, I thought it would be fun to do a commentary on what I'm saying like as sort of a meta joke about mindfulness about being like watching a DVD with commentary on. <laughs> if you'd like to learn all these things, well, you've come to the right place to click on a link to go to the place to learn all those things. And they're offering a free trial to you, viewers of my channel. So you can support my channel by going to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash wheezywaiter and sign up today. It's just a free trial. You can learn stuff. Yes, even you, Carl. Not that stuff. Why am I able to read your mind, Carl? That's also amazing. I guess this mindfulness course really worked. Thank you for watching. If you liked it or hated it, click the like button. I'm just running a tally on how many people had any emotion at all. There's a playlist of all my other why do people like videos on screen and uh, probably a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And you can support me on Patreon where you get monthly live streams, early releases of videos, updates, and you're just helping the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm wearing the same shirt as Sponsor Clone. This is embarrassing.